So I'd like, like to welcome you all to the 20th annual American, American Cancer Society Relay for Life of Bremer County Relay for Life. Um, please join us for the flag presentation by, by the Marine Corps League and Auxiliary and the National Anthem sung by Selena Velke and Max Lewis. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Let me introduce to you um, the young lady that you sang is for his daughter. So, amazing singer and her boyfriend. So, um, the honorary survivor is um, Patrick Feldhake. What I have in my hand, many of you may look at it as a water bottle. You don't know what I have here, something maybe different than you could imagine. It's more than just a water bottle. You may think what I'm referring to when you look at a water bottle is what the doctors tell you. Drink 64 ounces of these every day to make yourself healthy. What I'm talking about tonight is more than just this water bottle. What I'm going to tell you is much more than this nourishing water bottle can do for you on a hot summer day. This bottle can be purchased anywhere. It can be refilled at a kitchen sink or at a work fountain. No brand matters. No shape matters. The size doesn't matter, nor does the color. It's all the same, right? It's, don't look at this as a water bottle. Look at it as a support team. A support team that can actually be refilled over and over again. A support team just like you. Just like you, the survivors, just like you, the support team, the matches actually that supported those that are suffering with cancer. Again, my name is Patrick Feldhaik. I stand here before you, surrounded by my support team, by my 64 ounces, by my system, my comfort zone, my nourishment, and my source of support. My foundation consists of my beautiful wife, Julie, of 27 years. My son, Daniel. My daughter, Selena, who will be singing tonight, and my son, Anthony. Just as you heard my girls sing tonight, you think about the support that you have and you give each and every day. I stand here with the support of my mom, who's in heaven, my dad, who died of cancer, my grandma, who died of cancer, and many others, too. I have the support that goes beyond the doctor's toes. I've lived in four states, Arizona, Texas, Montana, and now in the heart of America, Iowa. Everywhere I've lived, I have that support team. 24 ounces, 64 ounces a day. During my journey, I use of my support team to lift me up, to, and I stand before you and encourage you to do the same. Back in 2008, I lived in Billings, Montana, and our company sponsored the Relay for Life. It was a 24-hour march, and my wife and I signed up for the 4 a.m. Um, walk. I can remember the conversation as we went around the track, thinking about all those that we've been, been in touch with that had cancer. And young and naive, we never thought that we'd have to face the statement of, you have cancer. Fast forward seven years to Iowa. 
I started to have health, health issues and many months, months of doctors and a trip up to Mayo. It, it was determined. determined. No, no words that anybody wants to hear, I heard them. I can remember exactly where I was when I got the call. I was about to cross the Mississippi River coming back from Wisconsin. Growing up in Arizona, you only read about the Mississippi. Look at all that water. Look at all that support. The fear rushed through my body, cold, bone chilling, on that hot summer day. Like others who faced the words, I have cancer. We were shocked by them. They taste bitter still in my, mind, in my mouth, and I was unable to remove the sound ringing from my ears. We couldn't understand how did this happen? Why me? Why me? I still don't know the answer. Well, because it's it just happens. It, it happened, happened to other people, people not, not to me. me. No, it, it happened, happened to me. When, when I finally came to grips with telling my family, my friends, and my co-workers, I distinctively remember telling my best friend who's here tonight, I have cancer. He was blown away, but not blown away by just the cancer alone. He blew, he tells me today, what really blew him away was the attitude I had through the whole process. How can I, I be so positive? positive? It, it was, was cancer, cancer for crying out loud. You, you should, should be lost and distraught, angry and confused. confused. Yes, yes, we've all felt those emotions. Yes, yes they're, they're there. there. <laughs> no, no doubt my, my blood was cold as ice and boiling with anger at the same time. But as I reflect, I can say there is one point of peace that came knowing that I have the support that goes beyond what the doctors tell you. 64 ounces a day, my family, my friends. I remember my post-op visit, he was scoping out my vocal cords. So to your surprise, if anybody challenges me to karaoke, I do not sing. You don't want to hear me sing. I told the doctor, could you fix my vocal cords so I could sing like my family? He laughed and chuckled, but before I realized there were three other doctors in the room, they were scoping my vocal cords because there was growth that they didn't detect. It was our first, my first sign that my cancer had spread. Before I knew it, there was so much tension. We went home worried. Many of you here tonight have experienced that moment, the goosebumps that come over you, the flash of panic that sets in. What if? What if? I know, you know, that this was not something you would face alone. I know that medicine has been more advanced than ever. I know the support system I have for the family. I know American Cancer Society was working hard every day to face issues. I knew that the Relay for Life track always had survivors walking on that first lap. I knew my prayer world would support me and my family. My 64 ounces. And my post op detention in the room was there again, but not from the doctors. The doctors had been able to remove the cancer. But Julie and I were anxious, waiting to hear what was the growth? What was the growth on the vocal cords? We grasped that the doctor said, It's gone. I can't explain it. It's gone. I knew it. It was a miracle. The prayers of my 64 ounces. Or the miracle of answer. I knew I was going to be okay. Now, some of you may know me, I need an insurance claim to We talk to people all day long about death and members of their family that they've lost. We also hear every day that he she had a full life. It was shorter than we may have wanted, but it was a full life. Tonight, like tonight, is our opportunity for a full life. As Americans, we have a choice to support who and what we want. And I'm glad to choose American Cancer Society, and I'm glad you're here with me. Here with me to cry, to laugh, to play, to dance, to sing, to support such a wonderful life. I like to live with the mindset of always think positive. It's easy now to say, but when things go bad, I reach out to my supporters to lift me up. I ask you to do the same. For those of you out there with cancer, always remember your supporters are there when you need them. 
and when we don't realize we need them. And supporters, we need you. We need you. The support is the most important part of the journey. The support doesn't end at the end of the walk tonight. It continues in the loop, just like this track. It doesn't stop. It has high spots and low spots, but it keeps going. We must keep going. We must keep fighting, keep giving, keep praying, keep living, keep walking. Send a text, post something on social media, tell a friend to join, and not just talk about it. Don't do one thing to support American Cancer Society. Do many things. Do 64 things. As you walk around this track tonight, look at the names on the Illuminati and shed a tear for someone you lost. Say a prayer. Remember a fond memory. And I say, when you get tired of looking at the Illuminados and you get tired of hearing the word cancer, 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 I've placed water bottles down at the end of this track. Pick one. They're life water bottles. Pick one up. Take it. Remember that it can't be refilled. We all think the cancer is endless. There is an end. It may not be in my lifetime. But because of what we do today, because of the support we give today, the disease we call cancer will not take away moments like tonight. Our moments. We can say tonight that we walked for a cure. I gave to support your cure. I prayed for the cure back in 2019 that helped end cancer. There is an end. But until that end is found, we need to keep refilling and always think positive. Thank you very much.